Hello, everybody. Welcome to an episode of the amazing meme game. I love you, Colonel Sanders. If you didn't know, this is a game that's just been released. It's published by KFC. It's endorsed by the creators and it's by PsyOps. And it's a finger licking good dating simulator. What more can you ask for? Honestly, I, I, I don't really know. This is the absolute peak of entertainment. The OP that just played was out of this world. This is going to be a blind playthrough. I'm going to be experiencing the game along with you guys. So join me for the ride. So, of course, we got to be tech. That's just in the brand. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. You have no idea how unreasonably excited I am for this. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> Or you could wake up now, 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 now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at him. Lie in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. <laughs> Can I just say, what an amazing name for a school this is? The University of School, Academy for Learning. That might be the the most descriptors I've ever seen for a single institution about education specifically. And it tells me absolutely nothing. That's amazing. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You know, Oh my, could you see this? The chicken above, the chicken force above the outfit. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness, I love this. It'll, you know, this is serious. We need to take this seriously. I better make sure I arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth equals brushed. Hair equals combed. Pits equals deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit. Straight out the door and head off to class. Oh my goodness, look at the steam. Look at the obviously it. Like CGI steam is coming out of this muffin. It's absolutely amazing. Just what you needed to keep your blood flowing and your arteries clogged. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Meredith. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. So, instantly, one of the love interests has been introduced. Good morning, Tech. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? What does that even mean? Like, the first day of the rest of our lives? I mean, you could say that every day. Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's that? It's just that this morning, I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Classy Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Oh my goodness, the tears. Oh, <laughs> that's quite funny. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that epic sandbox. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> Go with University Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semester. Three-day only? <laughs> three-day only semesters. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Three-day only semesters? Dream school right here, boys. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a mannequin. Should we pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Let's change the subject. I usually find that when people are nervous like this, just don't talk about it. It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. 
I love this soundtrack. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who's enrolled at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Uh-huh. Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. You see, he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born. From an egg. A- an egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it will line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just a smile. Both sigh, thinking about students so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to them. Dreamy. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved magic spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey, it's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Another great. Wait, hold on. I've been getting this thing the whole wrong the whole time. We're a girl in this story. And so the love interest is really close, and these are all love rivals. That makes so much more sense. I gotta say, I'm impressed by the cleavage. Can't deny. Look at the fang tooth. Classic devil girl. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave text shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Thank you for the backup, Miriam. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had, had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. I'm not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the court, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. Van Van, the man man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out on his glutes with his styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van Van. You rang, rang. You've never been sure what the arrangement is, but as long as you've known that Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Yo. That haircut. Mad respect. Also, that bod. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning will ever allow people like you to attend students. I know, right? You think they just hand us over? Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, see you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Who is this man? Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach for it and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I don't have voices. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my papa. He's old. Does someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Tech. So, are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him in, into the building. I like the pal. Who's this man? I want to know. I stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. My goodness. We have a doll teacher. That's amazing. Sprinkles. His name is Sprinkles. And he talks. Now, now. Quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our color in your class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oof. 
What the cute dogs are, Professor? This is the best school ever. I have to agree. If I could get taught by a Welsh corgi, life would be infinitely better in school. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I'm sorry, I'm very much losing track of which voice is playing which character. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly, someone close the window. And then, he walks in, all oh, this majestic man. Oh, I'm insane, look at that style. The glasses. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and this remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him, it's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before you can finish his sentence. Please. Oh, wait, that's the same voice I did for Van Van. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. So it begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely uh. wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Uh -huh. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Oh, that's extremely rude. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dong steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cookton School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your spores and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Wow, this is generic, man. Hi guys, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Leech class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on its tiny wheels. You tend to see student sprinkles, the student sprinkles is referencing what appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen plants. Class bursts into laughter. It's kinda cute, not gonna lie. Oh Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? I mean, it's gotta be a chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with the coating of warm, doggy drool. Pretty gross. See the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should learn the importance of carrying a range of dog cheap flavors on, on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs, take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey Tech, this is your seat here. It seems 
rooms and no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. I don't remember if that's the voice I used for Colonel Sanders, but anyway. Oh. Two, two great options, but which will you choose? There is no option. He moved to take his seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencil. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Ah, oh, that arched back posture, of course. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can, and do the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Oh, look at those magnificent guns. Oh, that bicep, the tricep, is amazing. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a, a quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... An absolute slam dunk is what I would love to put, but I don't know whether I should go with the beam answer. Forest is no, you know what? We're doing it. Forest is to tree is chicken is to a slam dunk. That's wrong. That can't be wrong. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork, a meat tenderizer, a spork. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything. Uh, I mean, camel meat? I mean, apparently there's some good nutrition properties. And the pancake looks like sleep phases. So, like, two years ago. Pancake art. But, not just anything. As long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. And Sprinkle's a good boy. How can he be anything except the best boy? Those cards four out of five. No, that's not true. A slam dunk is was correct. Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. Makes sense that school dedicated cooking would also be serious while eating. Uh, it, have we not hit any save points yet? Uh, wow, oh my goodness. Are we at the second bite? No, I don't know. Anyway, let's just you. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking will also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? This must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tiredness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smelly smell. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented. But what the rumors true? Is this? Carl Sanders lifts up a large bucket above his head. It's called this glimmer with the light. 
piled high, a huge piece of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What, do you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw, nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case of one of those ingredients is a poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. We wait to see what Zinger actually has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, that was just like right in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew what that almond. Only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see a body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he's destined for greatness with and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. The bitch. Mm. But please. Mm. Well, Van Van Man, if you don't want any, I'll I'll take this. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite. And his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure acceleration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates. Dig in. You take one of those pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's... It's a guy. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Along with the taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand. Flows weightlessly. Save the moment. Uh, I want to swim towards the light. I know. I need to save the moment. And everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful. Pure. Heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that only can be described as love. For a man, for a flavor. Aren't they the same? After tasting his food, try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. Ah, dreamy. What exactly is on that chicken? <gasps> ha ha ha, how bold, come on and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune established by legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. I love this stuff. Dude, that sounds amazing. It's just you and me here talking. I can, I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got, I've got myself my own. I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. It's really not to give, in, to give up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Oh, You're on the box here, I'll tell you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, then leans in. You can feel the warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... Oh, I messed up. But you can't tell anybody. Blank! Wow! You never have guessed that. You're not even sure where you get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders standing outside, standing in the quad. I think we've hit the third checkpoint. I think this is where we're gonna end this episode of I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanderson, I stare. 
thank you so much for watching. I know this is a huge departure from my normal video, but I couldn't resist. This game is something that I have wanted to play for a while. And I hope you enjoyed my random voices and inconsistent voices especially. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time to see how far we can get to Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. You know what I mean? Anyway, subscribe for more daily content. I do. I usually do Enter the Gungeon, FTL, and Delta V Rings of Saturn. But this is good. This series is definitely going to be one of the ones I'm continuing. So look out for that. Like the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.